Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Here we are again in our series of Microtech PPPoE. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please watch it first so that you can fully benefit and understand this video content. I will put the link on the description box below. In this video, I will show you now how to configure remote access on your PPPoE client's router. I have here a topology. We have the NOC side and the client side. NOC stands for Network Operation Center. And our NOC side, the Microtech device and the switch is located and the computer. In our Microtech device, I have here in Ethernet 5, an IP address of 192.168.17.0 slash 24. And in Ethernet 3, it's connected to the switch. And in that switch, the PPOE client router is connected. In our client side, we deployed an 80 meters uh, distance from our NOC. We need to configure remote access for this router so that if the client has a problem with the device, we don't need to be on his or her location to do the troubleshooting. By default, we cannot access the client router from our NOC side. I will test it so you can see that it will not remotely connect. Let's access the Microtech device and in the PPP active connections, double click it and copy the IP address. Paste it in the browser. All right, as what you can see, we, re we really cannot remotely access the router by default. Now, to remotely access it, we need to configure the router, the router itself. That's why before you deploy the router to the client side, you need to configure it first to have a remote access. Let's locally access our client router. The IP of our client router is 192.168.0.1. So we need to input that one in our browser. I am now connected to my router. We will now access it. Username and password is admin. Then go to security, remote management, then in remote management IP address, input 255.255.255.255, then save. If you have a different brand of Wi-Fi router, it still have a remote, address, a remote administration feature. Just look for it in the router settings. Most probably it, it is still in the security, then remote management. And all right, we are now done with the configuration. Let's now test uh, if we can successfully do remote access. So we will go back to the uh, network of our Microtech device in the Ethernet port 5. All right, let's go to our Microtech device and go to the go to PPP, then Active Connections. Double click, then copy the IP address and paste it in the browser. All right, so as you can see, we can now do remote access. We will try to access the router. All right, we we are now. Uh, done doing with the configuration. So let's try to change the profile to expired if it can still do remote access. We'll go to secrets then in the user 
we will change this one to expired profile. Click apply and OK. We will restart our router so it can get a new IP address coming from PPPoE expired pool. We will wait for it to finish rebooting. All right, let's let's check if uh, the router has a new IP. So let's go to PVP, then active connections. All right, the IP has been changed. Let's double click it and copy the IP address and try to do remote access. All right, that's so what you can see. We can still do remote access. We will try to input the username and password. All right, so we are now done. This is it, guys, on how to configure remote access on your PPPoE client's router. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please also hit that notification bell so you can be notified to my new videos. Bye for now, and have a nice day.